Hey, um, so I usually create a loop every week, or I have been for a month or so, and I didn't get to it this week um, for a few reasons. I was sick for a few days, and I have this like thing I'm playing guitar at tomorrow, and um, I needed to prepare for that. So I didn't have time to like write something, um, play around with it, and then record something. So I thought I'd do something a little different. And this may be completely boring to everyone, 90% of the people. I don't really know. But I was um, I was playing with my looper. I don't have my mic or anything. I just have this little Supro amp right here. Um, and I was playing with this loop because uh, there's this part I have to improvise over. Um, that... Um, that I, I didn't have anything I really liked uh, when we practiced last night. I didn't, I didn't have anything I really liked. So I thought that I would uh, create a video describing how you, or how I approach writing melodies over chord progressions. Okay. And then, and then hopefully that's helpful. And then improv is just familiarity, right? You have a few spots on the fretboard that you know you need to hit a, a distance of time and you try to fill that with cool stuff. So here's the chord progression, D. It's mixolydian, so, and I have no effects either. So D, A minor, C, G. So as I, as I solo over that, I know that I need to go from, I have four beats of D, four beats of A minor, which is not, it's not in the, in the D uh, major scale, it's in the D mixolydian scale, mixolydian scale, so I gotta, I gotta move a note in there, more on that later, and uh, C, four beats, and then G for four beats, so I know I have this D here, right, I have D note here, this is D, that's a D chord. Uh, this is D. That's D. This is D. Right? Uh, this is D, obviously. I have that. I have this. Right? Catatonics there. Um, I have D's up here. I, I won't get to those. And then for the A minors, I have this A minor scale. I have this A minor. This A minor. This A minor. This is an A. This is an A. Um, and then for the C, I have this C. This C. This C. This C. This C. And uh, for the G, obviously, that G, that G, that G, this G, this G. Uh, this G. Um, so I want to try to connect all those. So when I come up with melodies, what I do is I play the progression and I try to combine um, chords and then either pentatonic or major minor scales uh, in between those chords. So I, I basically have a, a destination for each chord, and then I try to play things that uh, sound good over there. And a lot of times I just stumble onto things and then use a little bit of music theory to figure out why that sounded good and if that's something I want to kind of step into or not. So I'm going to play the loop and play through um some of the ideas i have um for what a uh and it's it's just four bars right so just one time through that progression so what i can come up with going from d to a minor to c to g <laughs> So it's a D.
I did that um, I think I have two choices one kind of start on this D here I could go from the six up to the D okay and then from there I'm gonna go to the A minor and I'm gonna really I want to highlight that C I like that walk down so that's another thing that was good to my ear stay there now I can end there if I want because that's the five of G or I can go up to the G ending high is a little weird it might be better to end that whole part down here so right the uh, maybe three approaches the other approach I have is this D here so third idea I have is I'm in the same pocket but I'm starting from a different spot it's the same note but it sounds a little different and it's going to sound different with a bunch of games I don't think I'm going to go up there that would be like if it were eight bars I think and you would start low and then you would end up there and do some stuff up there and then and then go back down. So for this, right there. And then the, the last thing to note is that even though it's mixolydian, pentatonic is still available to you. So you still have... That's still there. And so is this. But you can add that C in there to give it that flair, especially if it's on the A minor. Okay, that's it. That's um, that's how I kind of come up with melodies. Um, I have a couple of ideas, and then uh, a map, sort of, from different angles, and then. Uh, 
when the time is right, I decide which angle I'm going to go from, and then I try to have fun with a general idea. And I think that's what improv is. Improv is having general ideas in your head, what you can do in that position. It's not going in completely blind. Some people may think that. That's not how it is. It's, it's, uh, I have some familiar patterns here. Um, so you use the familiar patterns, and then you can jump out of those try some cool stuff as long as you know your scales and stuff. So it's really important to know your chord tones and your scales and then try to connect the two. And then, um, and then if, if, if you step out of that and it gets uh, a little crazy and you're in uncharted territory and things aren't going well, you can go back to what you're comfortable with and it will sound good again. And it'll, the people will just think you're playing jazz. So that's it. Enjoy your Saturday. See y'all later.